Hey guys, I'm back, and I have uh, another video today. Um, I'm not even going to bother introing. Uh, you know who they are based off the title of the video that you clicked on, so let's get started. Um, here is Thor from, uh, this is Road War Worn Thor from the beginning. Mo well, pretty much until Thor enters the arena, and Thor Ragnarok is what he looks like. Um, Basically, I don't know why. Oh, well, I didn't. Uh, basically, my buddy Jared Figs, uh, which you should subscribe to, he made uh, the Arena Thor, and um, basically that edged me on to end up making a Thor. So I went ahead and did that. Um, torso, you can see, he's kind of got a puffed out chest that was sculpted with green stuff, his pecs. Um, and then these little two stripe. Uh, give me one moment. Okay, hey guys, I'm back again. I need a pointer. So basically, these two little bits here, like this bit that goes up, and then this bit that goes down here, That those are two pieces of electrical tape as well. And then, um, so is this little gold bit right here on his neck, right here, that uh, is electrical tape. So is this little black strap here, this loincloth, these wraps on his feet, and these wraps and gauntlet on his arm and these straps here the little three gold belt buckles are um, sculpted from green stuff they were dry sculpted with a technique by um, my friend the uh, Shane the last prime basically he took um what's it called the um like a paintbrush like the little plastic cover that goes over the paintbrush and used that to like kind of cookie cutter um those out um, the arms were sculpted, the little muscles, so you can see they were kind of beefy, they were sculpted from green stuff as well. These are actually the arms from my Dark Knight Rises Bane, since I, uh, I keep Bane with the coat on, I just reused the muscle arms I made for him for this Thor. Like I said, this gauntlet, this shingled gauntlet, that's also made from electrical tape and three straps. Um, the wraps go all the way around the legs, and they cross at the front. There should actually be two sets of those, but it's just hard to fit. Um, and have it look good as well without being cluttered, so I just did the one. Um, the cape is cut from a pirate ship sail. It was cut to be this sh um, shape, and basically, um, if I take the head off, um, it was cut into this shape and glued on there, and that's how it sits, so it can't come off. Um, and then the head, which is the last bit of this figure, um, I'll show you the front. Uh, it was actually a Qui-Gon Jinn head because you can still see the unaltered back. But uh, that's the head I used and I also used a Qui-Gon Jinn hair. The only thing I did was, um, the only thing I did was, uh, bu -bu -bu -bu, uh, modify the, like, the Widow's Peak to have, well, to have, like, a kind of Widow's Peak. It's still not as prominent as Thor has, but that was as far as I was willing to go. And then here's um, Mjolnir, you, know, you can see a little strap made of electrical tape, and I'm probably going to add some more detail to this, um, basically the bar is a brown bar that I cut off the handle, and then Mjolnir is the official one, I just painted the head gunmetal, so um, I'm going to probably add more detail to this, so right now it's pretty plain, but that's what it looks like right now. Alright, and then the other figure, um, we're going to need everyone's old pal favorite pal, good old buddy, old pal of mine, Squelchkin, Squelcherman, whatever his name is, I always forget. He's there, we know who he is. And then, here we have the Hulk, um, also from Ragnarok. Speaking of Ragnarok, Ragnarok's holding up the case. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hello? Hey? Recording a video? Uh, I mean, I'm fine with you just bringing food home. I don't really want to, honestly. Yeah. Zach's, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, the Nibbler's meal. Uh, 
Uh, not really, man. Uh, tell him, just tell him honey mustard instead. Either on the side or just honey mustard instead of Zach sauce. Nah. As long as it's just honey mustard, it don't matter if it's on it or not. He can go tomorrow. We'll see. Alright, well, um, I'm in the middle of this video, so, let me, I, I'm just, I'm just, it, it, <laughs> you're fine, bye-bye. That was my lovely mother, um, asking what she, uh, we wanted to do tonight when she got home. I was waiting. One day I knew that would happen, the phone would ring, uh, while I was recording, uh, but, you know, this channel, I'm not gonna stop. Okay, so here's Hulk. Um, you know, pretty standard. You guys got a good long look at him just now, but it's just the big fig. The main thing I did was here, I sculpted on some pants. Um, and uh, you can see some tears in there. And on the front, uh, these were heavily inspired by McLovin or Chris. Um, those pants designed like that. Um, Basically, I painted him black first, then dry brushed him with gray. And then I sanded down his hair at the top here, on the sides. Um, nothing no one hasn't seen before. And then I gave him a heavy black wash. So, that is it for Hulk. He's very simple. Let me get him back there. And let me get Thor here. For a thumbnail of sorts, I reckon. There we go. Alright, so that is it for this video. Thanks you guys for watching. Um be sure to do all the other deeds, like, comment, subscribe, and whatnot. Um next video will be whenever I make another figure. Um video on Garfield coming in June. That's all I'm going to say about that. It, it will be coming. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and all of you have lovely times this evening.